Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In this video, I am going to show how you can add your custom app icon and your custom splash screen in your react native application. So let me show what I am trying to tell. You can see here, this is my application and currently it is having custom app icon. Also when I try to open the app, you can see this beautiful splash screen. All our application screen will be loaded behind this splash screen. And whenever user will restart our application, we will get this splash screen behind which all the loading will be done. So we are going to integrate this. For this, we require two things. One is our custom icon and one is our custom splash screen. So this is my icon which I am using and its size is, you can see 1024 into 1024. So you can also make it like this. And this is my splash screen whose size is 750 into 1125. So you can also make your custom icon and custom splash screen and then we will use it in the later part of the video. So let's start coding. Okay, you can see here, currently this is my app and it is not having any custom app icon. Also, when I try to load the application, I'm not getting any splash screen. I'm getting this blank screen. So now let's add custom app icon and splash screen. For that, we can go to Google. Search for React Native Splash Screen. Click on the first link. Now I will click here. It will take me to GitHub repository where we will get the installation step. Now I will scroll down. Here we will get all the installation step. Now we have to run this step to install the package. So I will copy this. Come to my CMD and run it until it is installing this package, we can set up other things. Here we have to run this command, but link is not working. Like I think link has been deprecated. Because of that, I will do this thing manually. So first I have to copy this and then go to Android settings.gradle. So I'll come to my project and we'll go to Android settings.gradle. And here I can paste that. This step is done. Now let's see the next one. Now here I have to copy this line and we have to paste it inside Android app build.gradle. So I will come to my project, go to Android app build.gradle. Here I will just scroll down and I will come to this dependency and paste it here. I will save this. Then we will move to next step. After this, we have to go to main application.java and there we have to add this package. If you are using React Native Splash Screen with lower version than this, then you have to import this. But I think we all will use greater than this version. That's why I will copy this and go to my main application.java. You can find that inside SRC, main, Java, and here. And here we can paste that. Now let's see. After this, we have to add this new splash screen react package. So I can copy this. I will come here. And here we can add new package like this. So I will just uncomment this. And instead of this, my new react package, I will paste our package splash screen react package. And I will save this. This step is also done. Let's see another step. Now I will scroll down. Now we have to go to main activity.java and I will copy this line. Here we can find main activity.java and I will come here, paste that. I have to give semicolon also. Then again I will come to this step. I will copy this line, paste it. Again, I will come here and now here I will copy the whole code and I will come to this file main activity.java and paste it here. This code is responsible to start our splash screen. Like when our application will get started, the first thing we have to see is this splash screen. That's why we are passing here splash screen dot show. Now I will save this. Let's see whether our package has been installed or not. Yes, it has been installed. Now I will come here. And this setup is for iOS. I'm not going to show that. 
after that this is the most important step like previously we were doing the configuration but this is how you can add splash screen for that you can see here we have to create this file launch screen.xml inside this location inside this layout folder so let's go there so we have to come inside app inside src main and inside main we have to come to res i will just close this now and here you can see we are having these folders but there is no layout folder so let's create that and inside that we have to create one file let's see the name and the name of the file will be launch screen.xml so i will copy this i will come here create a new file inside this again i will go to chrome copy the whole code and paste it here so this code is responsible for taking the image from this location drawable we will store our image here and here you can see we are passing this location that is drawable lawn screen and we have to save our image with this name lawn screen dot png make sure that the image should have extension png now let's go to the documentation here we have added this code but we haven't added image yet for that i will go to chrome here you can see we have to add image in all these folders but in our folder structure there are not this many files so we are not going to create them we are going to generate it but the question is is this much file is important and the answer is yes like your application may run on the different devices with different sizes because of that we need the splash screen for different different screens now to generate these folders what we can do we can go to google and search for app icon generator click on the first link and from here you can generate app icon also and image set image set is responsible for the splash screen so i will generate app icon from some other website because this website is not generating app icon in the rounded structure it is only generating in square structure so here i will generate our splash screen so i will come here i will upload my splash screen and my splash screen is inside asset and this is the splash screen which i have created i will open it we have to take this 4x and click on generate now i will come to downloads unzip it open it go to android now i will select all this folder drag them come to my vs code and paste it inside res and here i will delete this drawable file also my image name is logo1.png therefore i am going to remove this launch screen and will write here logo1 so you also have to make sure that your image name will be same as mentioned here now i will save this now our splash screen setup is done now let's go to generate app icons for that i will come to google search for app icon generator now click on this link easy app icon choose your app icon this is my app icon its size is 1024 into 1024 and now i will just click on download and ios plus adaptive the icon it is downloaded so i will go to downloads extract it i will come here come inside android and we can copy all this folder and we have to drag it inside res app is already exists so we have to replace them also make sure that your app icon name is always ic launcher png and ic launcher round dot png because if you go to android manifest dot xml here you can see we are defining the icon name so it is going to mid map folder and it is searching for ic launcher for normal icons and for round icon it is searching for this name if you are changing the name of your icon then make sure to change it here also now i will save this and i think all our setup is done let's see whether it is working or not for that i will run my application i will come here and try to run react native run android okay you can see here that our build process have been failed and we are getting this error resource drawable rn edit text material not found and i think it is inside values.xml so let's go there so inside res we have to come to values 
and here we have to come to styles and as of now i can comment this out and save this now let's try to build the application and you can see our application is loading okay i'm getting the error so now what i will do i will uninstall my application also i will clean the gradle of my android application and then build it so let me do this quickly okay you can see here when i have uninstalled my application and try to build it again i am getting this splash screen that means that it is working totally fine oops i am getting this error let's see what it is saying so native module splash screen try to override the splash screen module check the get packages okay i think it is already importing that so we have to go to our vs code then inside that we have to come to our main application and here we have added this line so we just have to remove this and now i will save this i will close my metro now i will again rebuild my application one thing you can notice here whenever our application is building we are not getting that blank screen we are getting our splash screen so this is very useful and it always looks good all our application screen loading will happen behind this splash screen now our application has been loaded but here you can see i am only getting splash screen like it is not navigating to my drawer why it is it is because at the start of the application like inside this main activity dot java we have written this function splash screen dot show but we never closed it so to close it what we have to do we have to come to our app dot js inside app dot jsx i will import that splash screen i will save this now now i will come to my function app and here i will call use effect and inside use effect i will call set timeout and inside this set timeout i will close that splash screen so we can close the splash screen like this dot hide but we will close it after 500 milliseconds so when i save it and reload the application and you can see our splash screen has been gone so in this way you can implement splash screen also you can see here that we are getting this custom icon so in this way you can show your custom app icon and your custom splash screen that's it for the video and if you found this video helpful then please like share and subscribe thank you